Hello everyone, Trix here. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3 Heart Challenge Part 15. We were getting a horse. But first, we need to take care of this guy. This guy has been taking over the ranch. Yeah, I know he was weak. I'm not the one who wants you out of your place. I think you're doing a great job here. Yeah, you breeding horses for Ganondorf is a little bit too far. That goes a little bit too far. I'm gonna take you down. First you're going to have to write... This is pretty easy. We're obviously going to want Epona for this. Malon was nice enough to teach us this song seven years ago. It's the only way to tame her. Something Ingo has never been able to do. Because he's obviously been hanging around this ranch for his whole life. Milan constantly singing this song and he's still never heard of it somehow. Anyway, jumping over these fences will get you your 10 rupees back. And I'm gonna quit. I don't know if there's a way to trigger the race, which he will give you Epona if you win in the first time you ride, but I've never been able to find out how, if there's a way. Usually if you do it twice, then he'll invite you for a race, in which he pets the horse. And you bet rupees. Come on. Yeah, Epona doesn't like us. He just likes her. He, he just likes. She just likes hearing the song. Which is good enough. First, I want my rupees back. Thank you. And one more left. Now let's see if he wants to race. Hey, mister. Yeah. He's very confident of himself. He bets the horse just to gain rupees. Only problem is he's not going to win. This first race is way too easy. He barely moves. He's very easy. He's very easy to beat. Second race is more of a problem. Because obviously he's going to ask us to race again. Since he can't stand losing. Well, who can? Once more and I can keep the horse. Which is what I'm here for, but this second race is... He's a lot faster. Getting in front of him right from the start is mostly the key. Because he's very easy to block when he tries to gain on you. Once you get ahead of him from the start, he's... Practically done for. Easy. It's the legendary Epona. Of course she's unbeatable. Come on. However, he has one more trick up his sleeve. The horse is mine. But he locks us up. No problem. Just jump over the gate. And you're out of here. And Epona is ours. Yeah, it's part of the 100% in this game. Getting the horse. Not a lot of uses with Epona. But there are a couple. We're going back in immediately. Talon is already back. 
Ingo has uh, settled down a lot. <laughs> One big slime ball now. Milan is happy again. Yeah, I'm called dot 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 dot. Now you remember me. Now Epona just remembered the song. Well, let Ganondorf find out. I can take him. Another place done when it comes to making peace in Hyrule again. And we didn't even have to beat a dungeon for this one. Yep, this is what... Oh, sorry. Yeah, anyway, she's uh, going to suggest an obstacle course. We get something if we beat the current record of 50 seconds. From what I rem remember, this is not that easy. I can at least try. I don't do this this often. Usually I just skip this. Let's wait till I get my carrots back. I'm a little behind schedule, so I'll have to step it up. Forty-nine, got it. <laughs> One second. First try. Yeah, I rock. I know. And we get our next prize. However, this is not something we can carry. This is something that's going to get delivered to our house. We'll see what it is later. It's pretty uh, weird, actually, <laughs> but. I also consider this uh, something we have to do. With this we're done here. That's all long long range for now. We'll be back here later. So a couple of other things we can do. But for now I want to finish up the trading sequence. Don't want to get distracted too much of that. However the horse is kind of required to complete it so something I had to do. Anyway, now we're going to find Kojiro's owner, who has been lost from Kakariko. He's apparently in the woods. Kojiro is already responding. That's kind of the clue to find out where he is. The chicken suddenly starts to crow again. Something apparently he hasn't done since its owner left. Well, another thing you can uh, use to see where to go next in the trading sequence. This little arrow you see hovering above the Lost Woods or any other place. It's also an indicator of where the next step in the trading sequence is. In this case, because I'm carrying Kojiro, that means the indicator will be above Lost Woods. Because that's, just, that's where the guy is. Well, always thought that was weird. Kind of makes the training sequence in this game a little too easy. The game giving away where everything is. Anyway, here he is. He's uh, apparently sleeping. However, like we do with all chickens, we wake him up. Yep, Mr. Nice Guy. Apparently he wants us to carry drugs for him. Odd mushroom. This is the first in instance of an item which we get limited time to deliver. So we're going to have to step it up. Good thing to know is that you can't warp while you have such a time limit. 
Once you warp, it'll always automatically expire the time limit. So we're going to have to do this running. And to make it a little easier, we can do it with Epona, who's apparently faster. Ooh, I mean, obviously faster than us ru just running. Kakariko is where we need to go. Old hack in the potion shop at the back of Kakariko. It becoming nighttime is not helping. Because we actually need, need it to be daytime. Well, we have time, we can wait. I don't think that playing the Sun Song will work. Because I believe that also expires the time. I'm not too sure about that, I'm gonna have to look that up. So when becoming daytime, it means a door will open, which we can use to get easy access to the building we need to get to. It's the red building we see over there. There's a couple of ways of getting behind the gate over there. The easiest one is just go through the newly opened potion shop, which appears here after the market has burned down. I consider the easiest. Let's just get up here. Come on. There's plenty of time. I always just wait when uh, when it's night time. This is the hack we want. He apparently already smells we have something. Let's show her the mushroom. Let's make the drugs he wants. It's never been it's never really told what it actually does, but yeah, let's just listen to him. It's what we need. Alright, we receive an odd potion. Yeah, we have no idea what this is, what this is all about. What the connection is between the guy and this hack. But uh, yeah, something strange is going on. Let's just keep it at that. Alright, going back we'll just... Uh, I mean, uh, we just need to get back to the same place where the guy was. Because we need to deliver the potion, so... Uh, We've already seen that route a couple of times. I'll just see you in the Lost Woods. Right, Lost Woods again, same place. However, there's someone else here now. A Kokiri. Now we see he isn't here anymore. Apparently he was lost in the forest. He stayed here a little bit too long. Only Kokiri can survive in the forest. He's a skeleton monster now. In return, she just gives us his saw, which he left behind. Uh, I hope not. We've lived in the woods for a long time. However, we are not Kokiri, so... In theory, we should turn into a Stalfos. Anyway, what are we going to do with the saw? We're going to take it to Gerudo Valley, as indicated by, by our little arrow, which shows us where to go next in the training sequence. And this is where Epona comes in, because Gerudo Valley is partially open, and is actually inexable as young Link, the rest of it, and even as adult Link, but for a different reason. As young Link, there is a bridge which is guarded by the Gerudos. I'm going to ignore you for now. You're going to be a separate episode in the future. Uh, where was I? Um, yeah, as young Link, there's a bridge which is guarded by Gerudo. Because as kids, kids can't go in Gerudo Valley, apparently off limits. But when you're adult Link, there are no Gerudos guarding the bridge. That's because there's no bridge at all. It's inexorable because no bridge. And Epona is the solution for that. 
for Dungeon 6's uh, item, which you, you can also use to get in. But we haven't done Dungeon 6 yet, we do have Epona. And with Epona, the bridge that is now out can be jumped with a cool animation that was specially made for it. On the other side we have a lot of Dungeon 8 stuff, which we're not going to do just yet. We're here for you. This is some carpenter, master craftsman. The boss of the carpenters, which uh, were, uh, were responsible for building Kakariko and stuff, are now asked to build, rebuild this bridge, but they uh, apparently thought it was a good idea to become thieves and joined the Gerudos, but they never came back, so this guy is now on his own. However, we can also use him to sh so this sh show this saw. So try saying that three times fast. And apparently it's his saw, which I think means the other guy is his son. But anyway, he wants it back, and he uses us as a errand boy for this sword, which we need to get repaired. And apparently this sword is Goron made, so we need to get it to Big Goron, who is the master sword maker of this game. Also the guy who's going to be responsible for making us the strongest sword in the game. So right now we're going to the, yeah, the top of Death Mountain, that's where he is. Despite not having beat the 5th dungeon, that place should be available. Uh, I think I can warp there. I'm going to try to warp there. There's one spot that is blocked off in the Death Mountain Crater. Which is a shortcut to the top of the mountain. But there's a way to cheese around that. At least from this side there is. You can't use the short the shortcut the other way. Or you can just uh, use your magic bean, which was planted when we were young. Which will also take us to this area, where we've been to before briefly, when we were young. This is where one sculpture was. And it'll also take us to the top of the mountain. And over here you can already see it a little bit. This is where Big Goron is. Who isn't called Big Goron for no reason. However, obviously it's not going to be that easy because he apparently has some problems. We show him the sword. He admits it's his. But the volcano has erupted and now his eyes are irritated so he can't see. So we need to fix that too. King Zora apparently makes eye drops. So we get a prescription. Now we need to get to Zora's domain. Yeah, this is not going to be so easy. This is a place where we haven't been to since we were adult links, so we don't know what's changed there. Yeah, I was afraid that was too high. Let's get going. If you just keep running, the volcano eruption will never hit you. Not really a problem. I say that and I get hit. This game doesn't like me. That normally never happens. Anyway, I see you down. The entrance of Source River. We have yeah. The rest we we have already seen a couple of times. Alright, Sora's River. Once again, planting magic beans wasn't for naught. We have done that for a reason. Nice shortcut. Quick way to get to Sora's domain. It doesn't take us all the way there, but for a good part. It will stop here. Jump off here. And it will start snowing. Oh my. That does look promising. Let's get in. Let's play the song correctly this time. Oh, 
Oh, what has Ganondorf's curse brought upon this region? The snow is quite an indicator already. Soros Domain is frozen. Everything is frozen. And there are no Soras in sight. Just like the Gorons, everyone's gone. Everyone but the shopkeeper, <laughs> for some reason. However, the shop is also blocked off. We can enter the shop. Not that we want to, because there's nothing of interest there, but just pointing it out. We're here for King Zora, by the way. For the prescription. However, that's also going to be a problem. He's frozen in red ice. And red ice has only one solution. Blue fire. Sounds logical, doesn't it? Where can you get blue fire? Well... Here in Sora's Fountain, where Lord Jabu Jabu is nowhere to be found. Apparently he's dead. Or something like that. And now there's a couple of ice blocks here. Using these ice blocks, we can get to this cave we see over there. A cave we could have seen as Young Link also, but it was unreachable then. Now we can reach it. I'm going in here. We enter the ice cavern, which is side dungeon number two. Told you we were going to do this one. We're going to tackle it next time. The time is running out, so Treek's out.